today we about to change the serpentine belt on this car it's making a noise we're gonna change the pulley while we at it so might as well change both pulley looks shiny you gonna see that shit's shiny it's make mad noise like a, like a mad loud it's, it's it's loud there's two of them there's one for the alternator and there's one one for the alternator presser and the crank and the tensioner and there's one for the power steering separate belt for power steering and that's it so we're changing just the alternator presser crank and a tensioner we're gonna do that so let's get this man let's get all you need for this is a 14 wrench swivel and a 14 socket extendo with a ratchet just for uh that's all you need so for the tensioner tensioner You'll need this. Tensioner's right there. Just loosen that up. Oh, well, first, you have to loosen. You have to loosen the tensioner first. 14 mil bolt right there, right in the middle. Stick that off. Well, it, not take it off, but loosen it so you could release the tension. So you can release the tension on it. Put the 14 on there. Alright, should be enough. Loosen this up. Okay. I'm gonna use a gun because that's gonna take forever. Let's do this. Alright, listen here. Right. Should be good. Pull this off. Okay. Just like that. Get the belt out. Tell his belt is fucked up. Look at this shit. Sheesh. Look at that. She cracked. Damn. Damn. Look at that shit. Oh. So this definitely needs a change. If you keep driving like this with this with this on, this could rip off and your car ain't moving. Well, it's gonna move, but your battery light gonna come on because the alternator not getting not charging the battery, all that shit. Lose power, all that bullshit. Cause eventually that battery is going to die. It's going to die on you. Cause that's the only one running cause the cause the uh alternator the alternator is not charging it. Alright, let's get it. Let's take this off. Let's take the tensioner. Let's take the tensioner off. Take the 14 mil out. Make sure when you take it out, you take it out in the same order. So this is on top, then the pulley, then this one, another another washer on there. Okay. So it's like that. Look at this. You see this pulley right here? Look at this. Mad shiny. That's not good. Yeah, this thing is shiny. Alright. Let's get the other one. The one I got look better than this one. So, it's not going to be brand new, but it look better than this. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, this don't look that great. <laughs> but, uh, I'll use this for now. I'm going to have to go buy a new one. Let's use that for now. Let me show you how let me show you how I put everything back together. So this first. Well, this is something on there. That first. That. Then this. Then the pulley. Then this flat washer on there. Okay. Let's let's use this one. It's a little cleaner, a little cleaner. Alright, let's put those on. So just like this. Let me show you. This, 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 this on top. Just like that. Like a sandwich. Alright. Let's put it on. And then put your bolt right after. In case you don't know how this went, how the belt went, I'm gonna show you example. So you will have your crank. 
your crank, your tensioner, your AC, and your alternator. So, AC, crank, tensioner, alternator, alternator. So the belt will be like this. We'll go like this, under the tensioner, up to the alternator, down to the AC, across to the crank, and attach, just like that. It's like a, it's like a U, just like that. It's the tensioner right here, tensioner. All right, then that's it. That's how it looks when you put the belt on. I have the new belt right here. See, no cracks on this one. Okay, so let's put that on. Just how you, just how you see it here. Let's put it on. Okay, soon. Put your belt on, just how you see it. Up and over, just like that. On tension, make sure it's lined up. On tension. Good. Okay. All right. Now, before you tighten the 14, the 14 bolt on there, Let's uh, tighten the tension there. Okay, let's tighten it. Okay, you can tighten it. Okay, let's tighten the, let's tighten the tension there. Well, the bolt. Tighten it. On there. Soon you tighten the bolt good. See the tension on there. Make sure it's not too loose. This is good. Not that much. See, just like that. It should be good. Nice and tight. Now start it up. See if you hear a noise. As you hear, there's no noise, which is good. Before it was screaming. So let's wrap this up, man. Wrap this up. Put the wheels on and all that. Bearing go bad in this, you will hear it. You will hear when you when you spin it. You will hear like a, you will feel it and hear the bearing. So this one not that bad, but I feel it in my hands. Yeah, it's another way to test this. This, but this shiny shit, garbage. No good. No bueno. And that was all for the, the tensioner, well, serpentine belt for the alternator, AC, and the crank. It wasn't that hard. So, if you have any questions, you know, comment below. Hit me on Instagram and follow me. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Drew's Mechanics. Don't forget to give me a like if I helped you out. And subscribe. Later.